Well, hi there, guys. This is your host, Tiny Jester. Welcome to my new baseball purchase here for the 2017 edition of Action PC Baseball. Oh, I just ended up picking it up. They had a sale that was ending today. And um, so I decided to buy, I have the 15 edition. I bought the 16 edition. I decided to buy the 17 edition, mostly because, um, mostly because I was really looking for some seasons that I didn't have. And if you buy the, like the deluxe package, it came with a bunch of seasons that I didn't currently own. So um, you can see here, I now own all of the 70s, all of the 80s, all of the 90s, all of the 2000s. And I now own all of the 2000s up to and including 2016, which comes with this edition. So you won't see an extra file for it. But I was missing the 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, and 10 editions. This version came with 15, 14, 13, and 12, plus some other ones like the 21, 41, 57, 66. I didn't need the 77 because I already had the 70s. So I have um, all seasons from 1970 to present, uh, not including the 2017 um, season. You can get that, but um, it's just guesswork on their part as to like how things are going to turn out stat-wise. Um, and then a few minor seasons in between that, 66, 57, 41, and 21. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I haven't had a chance to put in all my logos and everything um, for the teams. I guess I'll have to worry about that sometime. But it did pick up all my pictures, so that was good. And we're going to be playing a game from April 3rd, 2016. This is opening day here, Toronto at Tampa Bay. Uh, mostly because, literally, last Thursday I went to a game that was Toronto at Tampa Bay. So I saw this game and I thought, oh, okay. Uh, and Chris Archer did start. Was it Archer that started? I think it was Archer that started that day. Um, so a lot of these players were in the game that I just saw. Plus now I wanted to check out the new features and stuff. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So without further ado, let's get going here. You can see Chris Archer is on the hill today. For Tampa Bay, I should mention we are playing as the Toronto Blue Jays. And um, the computer is playing for Tampa Bay. So it's going to be Florence Center, Donaldson at third, Bautista in right field, and Carnacion in DHing, Towiski short, Colabello at first, Saunders to left field, Martin the catcher, and Gones at second base. We'll be going up against Forsyth, Morrison, Longoria, Dickerson, Jennings, Miller, Souza Jr., Kilmeyer, and Conger, and Chris Archer is the pitcher. So hopefully the volumes and everything, I did have to go into the options and set all my preferences, but if you're interested, this is the way I've got them set up. I do have the ambient crown turned way down, but just enough where you hopefully you'll hear a little bit of background uh, umpire volume turned down, crowd reaction, and the game action volume turned down. I do have the narrator turned off. Play-by-play uh, -play is pretty much standard stuff there. Um, ballpark image, that stuff there. I did change the, um, the font layouts, make the fonts a little bit bigger. So let's uh, play ball and see what happens. So... Archer versus Pilar, beginning the season 2016, and away we go. It's hit into right field. It's going to fall in for a base hit, and Kevin Pilar is on the base here. Steps in against Archer. One ball, one strike. He rips it softly ground towards the right field. Souza Jr. retrieves it and fires it back in. So there we go. We are off and running. So this game, again, was from April 3rd, 2016. And the real-life score ended up being Toronto 5, Tampa Bay 3. 
And um, let me check. I believe these are historic lineups. Let me check here just to make sure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, they are. Okay. I know mine was because I made sure. I just wanted to see if the computer used the lineup from for Tampa Bay. So 95 or 94 mile an hour fastball, and Pilar gets it over there. So. 14 stolen bases on the year. We'll let uh, Donaldson hit it, though. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little hit and run action. Oh, get over there. And only plays it first. It seems a little loud on that. I'm going to just crowd reaction. We'll turn it down a little bit. All right, there we go. So hit and run probably kept, kept us out of the double play ball there, so that's happy. Baltista again. Um, here's his uh, real life statistics here. Um, and so there you go. 234 hitter. Rips it down to third. Longoria makes a great catch. And that's uh, two way here. Let's see. Encarnacion is up. DH in. He finds a gap and. What happened? And they're going to send him home. Okay. I was debating whether or not they were going to send him home. But oh, that's an RBI. First one of the season for Encarnacion. <laughs> there we go. To Whiskey, the short stops up now. Um, we're just going to we're going to take a pitch. Ball. Okay, good. You can go uh, pitch by pitch mode or you can do one pitch simulates the whole at bat. Depending on how fast you want to play it. Um, we're just doing one pitch, so it's a pop fly and it's headed into left field and out there to make the catch. The left fielder Jennings for Tampa Bay. So Strollman, yeah, yeah, Strollman was our pitcher the other night in um, in Tampa Bay when I went to the game too, so very similar to what we had just the other night. So um, and uh, Toronto ended up beating Tampa Bay 7-2, to I think it was. Struck him out. Morrison there is a 238 hitter. Pops one into right field, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. So each team gets a base hit. Um, Morrison doesn't have too much. Oh, there we go. Strollman with a nice strikeout. Don't have to worry too much. I do need to check a few things and check out the um, the rule book and stuff because I'm not sure what this number represents, this percentage. If this is the percentage he can get a good jump or is that the percentage he's going to steal the base? Uh, you know, I'm just not 100% sure about that. So if you uh, you know for sure, let me know. Um, we're going we're gonna, to uh, try a pickoff. He's safe. All right. All right, here we are, two outs against Dickerson. He's into what? center field. That's off the wall. It's going to fall in for a double. Throw home. Out chance 32. Yes. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, he's safe. And we got this tie ball game here. on Dickerson's double into center field there. Jennings, little dribbler back to the pitcher. Strollman over to first. That should end the inning. So after one complete, we got a 1-1 ball game. Uh, Coabello. First at bat of the season, a little pop-up. Way up in the dome. It's weird. Uh, the, <laughs> the Tampa Bay Dome, if you've never been inside, it's pretty weird because it's like got a slant and everything to it. And uh, you can see the ball going up in the rafters. I know there was a play earlier in the season where the Tampa Bay uh, left fielder couldn't find the ball and completely lost it up there in the lights. It's um, pretty neat. Different. I'll put it, I wouldn't say neat, just different. All right. Uh, Saunders, left fielder here, 253 average. Strikes out, Archer. Uh, one thing I would like is to not have this box disappear when... 
I don't know if there's that option or not. I did move it over to the left side because otherwise it blocks the first base. It does block third base a little bit, but you don't have as many runners on third base as you do first base. So I did move it over to that side this time. Um, that's video play by play. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm not seeing any option for that. I'll look harder later. It's no big deal. All right, uh, who's up? Russell Martin. All right, catcher. Pops one. He's going out in the left field and caught again by the left fielder. Jennings making good plays out there. <clears throat> they just replaced the AstroTurf um, for this season, by the way. And I got to actually go out right here. There's like a little gate that you can stand there and watch when they're taking batting practice and stuff. Some of the players are standing out here and they'll, they'll toss you balls every once in a while. Or they'll come over and give you something or sign autographs or whatever. Um, and you can see the, the new turf and check it out and look at it. They wouldn't let us out on the field or anything, but you know, you could see it. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, Strollman. Strollman here. Um, one inning pitch, two hits, two strikeouts. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Have to remember where everything is. There's his third strikeout of the game. Souza Jr., right fielder, pops one up in the left field, and it's caught. Saunders over there makes a good catch. Pop up over to first, and it's one, two, three inning. So uh, no score in the second inning. Let's go on to the third inning here as um, Goins, Ryan Goins comes up. Little dribbler to the second, and that's Foresight. Over to Morrison, one away. Back to the top of the lineup. Kevin Poir hitting 1,000 on the season. Got a single to right his first time up. Ooh, that one sounded well hit. Down the line and foul ball. So try it again. Poir one for one. And a little dribbler foul. So 2-2 two -two pitch. And this time, Forsyth to... Morrison. All right, Donaldson, 0 for 1 in the season. He's going to crank that into right field, and that one's going to carry way back and gone in the 30, 32nd row back there. That was a long shot, 327 foot. Oh, I guess it wasn't that far. Looked that far, but well, we'll take a 2 to 1 lead. That's cool. Bautista pops it into left field and it's caught. So after two and a half, it's 2 1 Toronto. We have uh, Conger, Hank Conger, his first at bat, and he'll strike out. Forsyth, 0 for 1 on the season. Ooh, that one sounded well hit into center field, but Pilar makes the catch. I think this is their first number represents their defensive rating, I believe. Second number, A6. I'm not sure if that is their error rating or if that's their throwing rating or what. So I'm going to have to check in on that. Again, if you guys know, let me know in the comments section below. All right, uh, who's up? Looks like Logan Morrison. He's uh, batting a thousand. Uh oh, uh oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Foul ball. Ooh, just foul. It's just wide. Tries it again. This time it's caught by Souza Jr. And um, in Encarnacion, one for one, batting a thousand. Hot shot to third, a, or shortstop. Miller makes the play. 
down the line, and that's, ooh, poor play by the shortstop there. So one of the things they were talking about this year is, or one of the additions, I guess. Um, actually, let's see. Um, let's go. I'll show you what the, the new additions are for the year. <clears throat> So enhanced ballpark effect database, historical error data, road and home uniforms, which are not included, great screen, great play alerts has been expanded to display an icon when the fielding range negatively impacts the play and when the fielder makes a web gem. Both poor and great plays are tracked and viewable on the player form. More immersive game managing. So real-time managing decisions box has been added to some line drives to the outfield. Uh, risky, slow infield rollers. Managers now have the option to play it safe or chance a risky dive. The manager decision box now includes a double play percentage chance. New opening screen playoff display. New opening screen favorite team display. Expanded use of logos, players, and manager photos. Expanded opening list screen. New ballpark layout settings allows you to customize the size of the game screen, play-by-play blacks, and size of playing field photos. Expanded encyclopedia tools. Uh, new pitching stats. New box score game recaps. New no doubles defense, expanded player search form, video chalkboard enhancements, new play results. So that's um, that's the information there, uh, and you know, there's all the information on if you want to order it. All right, so there we go. So we're in the top of the fourth, two one Toronto, Colabello. Up to the plate, Tulowitzki on first, Strike strikes him out, Archer, that's his uh, second strikeout, only second, Saunders, 0 for 1, that's in the right field, that's headed back towards the wall, nope, it's caught, great defensive play there. All right, Longoria, Evan Longoria, 0 for 1. Ooh, that sounded well hit, and it's caught. Good play by Pilar. He's got a pretty good defense. I think that's why 8, I think that's her defensive rating. So he's, I know he's, most of the stats they use are from 1 to 10, and 10 being, you know, like, excellent. So Dickerson, 1 for 1. Little dribbler and out at first. I like how they now like continue the runner past the base instead of just like stop it. That's you know, good. Jennings. Oh for one, he's gonna pop that into left field and it's caught. So we're going in the fifth inning, two one. Archers only made sixty one pitches here. It's into center field and caught by Kilmeyer. Yeah, he's a 10. So I don't know if that's just speed or if that's defensive rating all the way around or whatever, but that's I think that's what that number represents because I know Kilmeyer is super like, rated one of the best center fielders out there. So 7-6-6-5-4-3. Um, so all right, uh, Goins, 0 for 1, hot shot in, through the goal, through the gap, through the hole. There, that's what I meant. Through the hole. All right, Archer, up to 69 pitchers. We got a man on first. Pilar is up. He's got a bunt rating of only four. And Goins. Um, only one stolen base. He runs seven, but he doesn't get a very good jump. So we're going to uh, do a little hit and run. Oh, that's probably a bad. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's too bad. Donaldson, one for two. That's into left field, and oh, 
Thought that was going to hit the wall, but doesn't. So it's one, two, three inning. Bad call on that hit and run. Bottom of five. Miller, Susie Jr., Kilmeyer. That's in the right field. It's going and it's caught. Bautista, Susie Jr. Little dribbler to third and gun down at first. Good play by Donaldson. So I did see Donaldson to Whiskey, Pilar, Bautista, Strollman. I know they were all there. I just don't know about the rest of them. Um, Goins, Colabella, Martin, Saunders. Yeah, I'm just not sure who was in the lineup. Hey, all right, struck him out. So well done by Strollman. He's like one of my favorite pitchers. Man, that guy's, he was like warming up. We were like um, right over here, right where Bautista's head is, right here. There's the warm-up for the visiting team there. So before the game, we're like 10th, 20th row back or whatever. But he's like right, like right there. Man, this guy, phew, he's a rock-solid little man, I'll tell you. Oh, we'll take a walk. Bautista and Carnacion, one for two. Ooh, it's up against the wall. No, it's caught again. God damn, who is that guy out there? Jennings? He makes every play. We need to get him a little bit farther. <laughs> All right, Tulitsky, one for two. And that's going to fall in a little, little blooper in the hole. No one can pull it up. So first and second for Coabella. Coabella. Little dribbler out at second. And that's going to be a 4-6-3 double play. Strowman only 65 pitches in, so he should be good. Conger takes a walk. Five, four, three, double play, maybe, yes. No, he beat it out, Forsyth beat it out. Morrison, one for two. And that's going to fall in and find a gap. And that's going to be second and third, one out. For Longoria, the righty. All right, we'll pitch to him. Oh, that's new. I don't remember. Oh, he must have argued the call. Let's see. I bet you that's what happened. He striked out. He argued the call. Um, 0 2 changeup, strike three called, strikeout. And the green question that call. Uh, he's chest to chest with the umpire and he's gone out of the game. So he didn't like the call. So Evan Longoria thrown out in the first game of the season. Strollman versus Dickerson pops it up and first base don't make an error. All right. So they get out of the jam there. New pitcher coming in. This is going to be Danny Farquhar. Danny Farquhar in real life. 306 ERA, one win, 35 innings, give him 33 hits, eight home runs, 15 walks, 46 strikeouts, 241 average. Strike him out. Russell Martin. Strikes him out. Goins. Oh, he comes in and throws out the strikes out the side. That's not cool. And we're doing a little seventh inning stretch right now. 2-1 Toronto. Jennings. Little dribbler. And hopefully out. That would be Gones to Cora, Cora Bella. Gones to Cora Bella. Two in a row. Oh, he's now weak. Can he get through the inning, though? Steven Souza. I don't know if we want to mess with him. Oh, we'll take it. All right, so Webb's coming in in the eighth inning here. Pilar's one for two. Oh, that's a shot, and it's gone. And... Just like that, run aboard, 329 feet. Boy, we didn't hit him very far. 
The other home run was only like 335 feet, so must be a pretty shallow field there. Um, 3-1. Who was it that hit that? That was uh, Pilar? Oh, really? Wow. Donaldson, one for three. Little dribbler to third and out at first. Bautisto for two. He could use a hit. Nope, that's going to be Miller over to Morrison. And Carnencion, one for three. Little dribbler to third and one, two, three inning after the home run. <laughs> All right, Strollman, we can go to our bullpen here now. They got a uh, lefty, a switch hitter, and then a righty coming up. So, versus lefties. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to be in Brett Cecil. Oops. Brett Cecil is going to come in. We right click, enter, yes. Okay. Brett Cecil is going to come in and face Kilmeyer. 3 1 Toronto, bottom eight. Little dribbler to Miller on to. Oh, I'm sorry, Gones on to Corabella. So one away for Hank Conger. He is a switch hitting catcher. Oh, they just replaced him with Steve Pierce, his first at bat of the season. Hot shot down to third, quickly over to first and two away. Forsyth, second baseman. He is a righty. Pop fly, and it is off the wall, or is it gone? No, it is gone. That was just barely over the wall there at 324 feet. I think ours was like 327, so we hit it three feet over the wall. He fit it one foot over the wall. Well, that just makes things really interesting now for Logan Morrison, Strike who strikes out. All right. Cedeno is coming into pitch. Cedeno, he is a lefty. We have in our lineup Tulitsky. Oop, got to go back to our lineup. Tulitsky, righty, righty, and then a lefty. All right. Tulitsky, two for three, and he'll walk. Corabella, he's a uh, oof. Chris Corabella, first baseman. What's our bench look like? Right, uh, Thole is a catcher. Um, not very good averages either. Hmm. All right, it looks like Corabell it is. Little dribbler. Nah, it's going to be a 6-4-3. Saunders, 0 for 3. Left fielder. Ooh, that one sounded well hit, but it's an out. All right, 3-2 ball game. We're going to go to our bullpen here. We're going to go to the bullpen. They have a righty, a lefty, and a righty. So we're going to bring in Osuna. Osuna is going to come in. All right, Osuna versus Beckman here. T. Beckman. That's Tim Beckman, third baseman. Ooh, little popper and one away. Dickerson, D.H. One for three. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't let it go out. Okay, shoo. Altisa making a good play. Down in the last out. We got Osuna versus Jennings. Little dribbler to third and on to first, and that should end the game. Toronto three, Tampa Bay two. Under my expert managerial tutelage. 
So let's check out the box score. So there it is. So Tropicana Field, 250, 2 hours and 50 minutes to complete the game. The Dome, 70 degrees. It's a day game, not that it matters. Uh, Strowman with the win, Cecil and Osuna with the save. Um, we can go to batting. Pitching, miscellaneous. So home runs, Donaldson won his first off of Archer. In third, with bases empty, 327. Pilar off Webb in the eighth with bases empty, 329. And Forsyth off of Cecil in the eighth with 324 feet. Yes, I knew our hit was only five feet longer than theirs. Uh, Gones was caught stealing, um, which was mm, bad play on my part. RBIs, a poor play, a poor play by Miller. Four left on base. Um, double plays. Tampa Bay got two of them. Donaldson with the game-winning RBI. MVP was Marcus Stroman, and ejections was Evan Longoria. There you go. That's it for that. Um, let's see the score sheet. There's a score sheet. If you're looking for a score sheet there, I just wanted to kind of look at all the different options for the 2017 edition. Here's your play-by-play -play results. One, two pitch, one, one, two pitch, Saunders struck out. Okay. Looks good. Yep, pretty much what they had last year. Mm, all right. Well, Stroman with the win. Archer takes the loss. Stroman's the MVP. Uh, what was his, what was his uh, stat line there? Seven innings, gave up only three hits, one run. One earned, one walk, seven strikeouts, 129 ERA. You don't get much better than that. Strollman, he was a beast in the game I watched the other night right here in Tampa, and he was a beast today. So there you go. There's the 2017 edition, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. One thing, there's, I'll have to look at more of the functionality and stuff. Um... And if you guys know about those questions I have about the ratings on the players, let me know. And otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon.